Hey guys, it's Jazz here with a much requested app demo. I'll be showing you guys Google Earth for the iPhone. So, you start off here with the world, right when you wait, right when you start up the app, and we can pan around the world and rotate it. Or we can go upside down, we can go into Australia. But let's go over to North America. If I can get there from here. So here's NA, North America, and here's the US of A, USA, United States. I live over here in New England, but I'll be showing you guys part of San Francisco today. So let's head over there. Let's pan, zoom, pan, zoom. Let's go. So we can zoom in by either double tapping or doing the pinch works either way and we can zoom in so far now that we can read the text on the street so that says stop so when you hit there you're supposed to stop I think just to guess so if you click this button down here which I'm not going to click because I don't want you guys to know where I live it'll take you to your current location this right here is your compass. When you tap it, it takes you to north, so that directly up is north. You have your info button down here, which is basically your settings. So we can go to help, geographic web, borders and labels, clear history, clear cache, you get the idea. Let's go done. Or up here we can search for a place. So I'm going to search for a street in San Francisco called Lombard Street. L-O-M-B-A-R-D Street. You can either search for Lombard Street near me, or it'll give you some suggestions. I've already searched it, so I'm going to tap that. And it should come up saying, did you mean Lombard Street, San Francisco, CA? There you go. Tap that, and it'll take me to Lombard Street. So it didn't necessarily take me to the part of Lombard Street that I wanted to show you guys. So I'll just pan over there now. And... I know this is the part because it has all the pictures. So we can see it's Wikipedia page by tapping that W there. And as you can see in the high res photos, it is a very curvy street. Those are all cars going down it, by the way. Very narrow, very curvy. Some of you actually may have been on the street while playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I know it's in that game. I always love monster trucking up that street, not even following the roads. So I tapped an image and it's going to start loading. And as you can see, I can see the image in Google Earth and you can see who it's by. So let's get out of that so it doesn't crash again because, mind you, Google Earth crashes a ton. Throughout this video that I've been recording, I've been recording for about 10 minutes now. I've had about 5 app crashes maybe. So, let's browse over to Alcatraz, the island prison, and I won't open pictures there because that seems to be what makes it crash, but on Alcatraz it's a huge tourist attraction, so you might even be able to see some groups of people there. Well, looks like the images aren't very high quality, but you might be able to see people down here. Yeah, I think those little dots are probably people, but that's as high res as Google Earth's going to get, so let's go back to San Fran, go back to the land. Let's zoom out. That is basically a quick overview, demo, app, app demo of Google Earth for the iPhone. It still has got a long way to go, but it's free, so I'd suggest downloading it and checking it out for yourself. Overall, probably give it a 4 out of 10 because of the crashes and it's still got a ton of time until it's going to be a good stable app. But download it anyway. If you don't like it, you can always uninstall it. It's free. I'll put the link, the iTunes link, in the video description so you guys can see. Um, hope you liked it. Join me next time for another app demo, hopefully.